So I would say this is actually a more likely Super Bowl scenario than I thought it was several weeks ago. Not for me. Um, I watched the Rams and the Kansas City Chiefs last night, and what I said to myself was, whether it's the Saints taking out the Rams or somebody like the Steelers taking out the Chiefs, both of these teams are not going to the Super Bowl. I don't believe that two defenses that can struggle like this can end up both in the Super Bowl. I just don't believe it. Um, I just think that right now the Saints are the best team in football. It's looking this way because of Drew Brees, and I'm just of the mindset that somebody's going to get upended, whether it's that or it's some upset in the AFC at Arrowhead Stadium because I think the road to the Super Bowl is going to go through Arrowhead. I don't see both of these teams making it. That's just where I'm at with it. Yeah, I don't necessarily see this as a preview, but I agree with Max that it's it's still it's very likely. There, there There's not two teams in the NFC better than the Los Angeles Rams. There's not two teams in the AFC better than the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's what scares me about these two teams. There is a team in New Orleans right now that's playing better defense than the Los Angeles Rams are. They, they have a tough schedule down the road, but if they get home field advantage, I'm, I'm from New Orleans, it's tough to go there and win. And we watched it happen when the Saints won the Super Bowl. Minnesota's there. Brett Favre is there. He's having this great season. Tracy Porter gets a pick to, to, to put the Saints into the Super Bowl. Then Tracy Porter gets another pick for a touchdown against the Indianapolis Colts. I feel like the Saints are playing the type of ball that's an antidote to what the Rams do if they get them at home. That's still a big if. The Saints has to finish this thing out. The Rams only have the Bears coming up that could be a team that could beat them. And then you go on the other side. And so many times we talk about the New England Patriots, and I know that's the team that people want to bring up. And I'm going to get, oh, you a homer and all of that stuff here. But when you watch the Pittsburgh Steelers play defense now, they get after the passer. They don't allow big plays defensively in the secondary. They have really stepped up since Joe Hayden's been back. Haven't allowed 300 yards in five games. Those are the type of teams that can be kind of the poison to what Couple these things, two though. teams do. Couple things. One, the Steelers just barely beat a Jacksonville team that barely cares anymore and is not very good but Max, on offense. Max, 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 that's not Two. how it works. You, you know this more than anybody. Styles make fights. No doubt. That's a but, bad but, but matchup I want to talk, for the let, Steelers. Let, let me bring up Styles to Stephen A. Because right now, the Saints are the best team in football because they also stop the run. They even get after the passer, and they have the same kind of offense that these two teams we just saw last night have. But Stephen A., as to your point about the Super Bowl, think, of, think all the way back to the last Super Bowl we saw. No punting, basically. It was score, 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 score. First team to make a defensive play won the Eagles. The Eagles just beat the Patriots in a Super Bowl that resembled the game we just saw last night. Well, I mean, the point is, is that, again, we could talk about the rules and what have you, but I'm thinking about guys nipping and tucking going back and forth. Now, if I see defensive lapses, Max, and I see a, a, a team that just seems ill-equipped to handle whatever it is that they're going up against, they just seem clueless, like that touchdown that Tyreek scored, Tyreek Hill scored, that 73-yard touchdown catch, where there was no one in the vicinity of him, and I saw that repeatedly happen, then you got a point. But I saw Jared Goff making throws. I saw Patrick Mahomes making throws. I saw defenders right on receivers, and still, guys were making catches and they were making fantastic plays. When I see something like that and I see two teams nipping and tucking and I'm seeing special levels of talent be put on display and that's what the order of the day is as opposed to incompetence or ineptitude, then it's a different ball game. So it's all about how those things transpire to me, not just that they're transpiring. Let me throw something at you, too, because you mentioned the schedule. The Saints have the fifth toughest remaining schedule, as for the Rams, the fifth easiest. And I know how important competition is to you, Stephen A., but, I mean, what kind of impact no, is that but, down but, the stretch? But that, that plays a part to me, and that's why I mentioned the schedule down the stretch. I mentioned home field advantage because I think it's really huge with Los Angeles and New Orleans, not because I believe it's so hard to play in the Coliseum and that the Saints have no chance there. I believe that there is no team that can go into New Orleans and win in the playoffs, in that atmosphere, against Sean Payton and against Drew Brees. So the Los Angeles Rams winning last night, having an opportunity to go against, go against the Bears here soon, if they get home field advantage, it plays so much into their opportunities to get into the Super Bowl. I'm not saying that this was a Super Bowl preview, but to just poo-poo it, Stephen A., and think that it can't happen because these teams don't play great defense is preposterous yeah. in this day and age of football. And, Stephen A., just to your point, you just made the point. 
that that's not bad defense. That, that's spectacular coaching, actually, getting guys open. And even when it's not, it's spectacular athletes making plays on offense, right? I mean, that well, means I'm, that it's not bad defense. Well, I get that. What I'm saying to both of y'all is this. I'm not talking about them just being bad defensively. I'm talking about the Steelers being prolific offensively. I'm talking about the Saints being prolific offensively. And I'm talking about the possibility of one of them getting in the way because they can turn it into a slugfest similar to what we witnessed last night with a similar outcome for one of those teams.